And good evening, everyone. I'm Ron Steele. And I'm Abby Turpin. Thank you for joining us. Our top story tonight, two more people in Iowa are now being tested for the coronavirus. Again, we want to point out, though, still no confirmed cases of coronavirus in Iowa. 39 people, though, have completed public health monitoring. Three of them, the test results are back negative so far. No results yet on the other 36. On top of the coronavirus, Iowa is currently in what is being called a widespread outbreak of the flu. Right here in the flu season. So far, this flu season, 30 Five Iowans have died from the sickness. These two respiratory viruses causing many Iowans to ask, which one should I really be concerned about? KWWO reporter Ashley Neighbor is speaking to an expert at Lynn County Public Health today, and she is now live from our Cedar Rapids newsroom with what they had to say. Ashley. Well, Abby and Ron, over the last couple of weeks, KWWL has received a lot of questions about both the flu and the coronavirus. So today I sat down with a clinical branch supervisor to talk about the two illnesses. The biggest takeaway, Iowans risk for catching the flu is still much greater than the new coronavirus COVID-19. To the cases that we have diagnosed here in the United States. Clinical brand supervisor Heather Metter has been monitoring the risk to Iowans when it comes to the coronavirus, COVID-19. So the risk to Iowans, even though it's in other places within the country, is still very low. However, when we look at influenza, we're seeing widespread influenza throughout the state of Iowa. While the buzz around COVID-19 is stirring, influenza has been the silent killer this year. The CDC estimates since October, 18 to 45,000 people have died from the flu nationwide. In a very long duration of influenza this year, we had a very early set onset with influenza and it's still going on. So we've had this long duration. So lots of illnesses, lots of kids sick. 48 schools around Iowa have absent rates higher than 10% due to illness. But what makes COVID-19 concerning is its mortality rate. We look in Hubei province in China where this first really originated at. We're looking at about a 2% mortality rate. If we look at influenza, it's about a 0.1. So yes, the mortality rate does seem to be a little bit higher. But again, when we look at the numbers for the number of cases we have, mm -hmm. your chances of acquiring influenza are much, much greater. Both the flu and COVID-19 spread through droplets. It's the droplets when you're coughing, when you're sneezing. So we believe that COVID-19 is the same way. Um, we think it could possibly be airborne. So that's why we're taking extra measures, especially if you go into the healthcare settings. Now, she tells me it's never too late to get your flu shot. And she also tells me there are studies out there that show that shot can actually help you help your risk for being hospitalized get much lower if you do catch influenza. Reporting in the Cedar Rapids newsroom, Ashley Neighbor, News 7, KWWL. Ashley, thanks for the update here tonight. In fact, Heather told Ashley today at this point they really are not recommending that anyone get those surgical masks.